Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my iPhone 12 mini, 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max gaming review. Now, we decided to do all devices together because it made a lot of sense since they have a lot of internals that are similar. Now, before we go ahead and start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. So looking at all the iPhones, Apple has crafted four new iPhones for us this year. Very similar in design, of course, but also striking in differences. You know, looking at the mini, it's the smallest iPhone at 5.4 inches. It's got a small display, but rather still spacious enough, especially when you want to game. Um, then you go over to the 12 and 12 Pro. They are similar in size, the differences are in the camera, but the internals are also slightly different because the 12 has four gigs of RAM, while the 12 Pro has six. Now you move over to 12 Pro Max, which is 6.7 inches, the behemoth of a device. This has six gigs of RAM, but also a larger battery, about 3,800 milliamps, which should come into play, especially if you're spending long hours gaming. All devices are 5G capable, which means you can do, of course, gaming over 5G, whether you're playing uh, games like Call of Duty Warzone or even connecting directly to your Xbox. You know, uh, 5G Ultra Wide Man on Verizon is great for that, but you have 5G connectivity with T-Mobile and uh, other carriers as well. So that, those aspects are there. But let's talk about the speakers first. So they all have stereo speakers, including the Mini. What's interesting is that uh, Apple uses Dolby Vision for their cameras, but no Dolby Atmos, something we know all, a lot of Android manufacturers do use nowadays, which helps improve audio. So let's listen to the audio on all four of the devices, as well as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, for just a reference from the other side. And we can compare and contrast to see where they land. So let's roll that and play. So first off, the Mini actually sounds really good. Small subform factor, but still really good speakers built into it. So it looks like Apple is using the same speakers across the board for all their devices. You do hear variances in terms of sound levels between all of them. Uh, the Pro Max sounds the loudest and also I think just the pitch the clearest in all. Now when you compare all of them to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra sounds more bassy and you can hear that crunch within the middle where the bass kind of overcrowds just the middle a bit. While the iPhone, especially the 12 Pro Max, is more spacious there. So you can hear more of those syllables come out. If you want something with more bass, Dolby Atmos, No20 Ultra does it for you. The iPhone has much more clearer routines here. So I do like the speakers on the, all the iPhones. I think the Pro Max is slightly loudest, but the Mini is definitely no slouch. Okay, so let's move over to gaming. What you guys have been waiting for with this video. How does the iPhone perform over time in gaming, right? Now, as I mentioned, you either will have four gigs of RAM or six gigs. Four gigs for the Mini and the 12, and six gigs of RAM for the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. When it comes to game performance, doesn't matter if you're throwing Call of Duty uh, Mobile, which you do 60 frames per second across all devices, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, although, remember, Apple doesn't have a, a higher refresh rate display, so it's capped at that, if you will. Um, and you're playing games like uh, PUBG Mobile. Uh, PUBG at its highest settings, we're all doing 39, 40 frames per second. That's also standard. Uh, when you go to Smooth Extreme, you go up to 60 frames per second on all four devices. It's something you clearly see on the Mini 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max. Now, the game that everybody wanted me to spend 
some time with is Genshin uh, Impact. Now, this is a game that we cranked it up to the highest setting, 60 frames per second. I know some people would say, no, you don't play like that. It doesn't matter. I want to see how this functions in terms of just performance. Now, in our initial gameplay with the 12 Pro Max, it didn't do so well. We had the update to, I to iOS 14.2 on all the devices, and we played all of them. The Pro, the Mini, Pro Max, and of course, the 12. And we got the same results. Same frame rates, high, solid, across the board for each of these devices, which was good to see. So it shows that the performance of the iPhone is pretty solid across the board, depending on what you play. Now, there were some little, little dips while playing, and you will not see that reflected in the frame rates you're seeing on screen. When you play over a longer period of time, you tend to see those dips. That's something that a lot of people won't tell you or show you. It's because you get that down clocking uh, for one clear reason. These devices run super hot. They run really, really hot, get up to like 107 degrees, sometimes 110 or even slightly more uh, with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the 12, the mini, all of them run really hot and they run hot really quick. So in terms of temperatures, I got to those temperatures really quick in roughly around with Genshin Impact in, ro in roughly around 10 to 15 minutes. Very fast, very quick, sometimes even quicker than that. So that's something to bear in mind when you're playing over long periods of time with highly graphically intensive games on the iPhone 12 series. Now, which is the best for you to game on? Honestly, it's a really simple matter. It's the 12 Pro Max for a couple of reasons. The Pro Max has a bigger display. So in terms of your buttons, you've got a, more space for button layouts, which the mini does not provide. You also have a bigger battery on the 12 Pro Max as well. And uh, that battery will carry you longer in your gameplay sessions. So that's also good to see. Uh, and the speakers are slightly better as we saw. Now, Going to the Mini, the Mini is no slouch. It does pretty well, but I've noticed in my gameplay sessions, battery runs out much faster than any of the other devices. That's just something happens, and again, it's indicative of the battery size you find in there, uh, and that's what you're going to get. So if you're gonna game for a long period of time, the Mini is not the device for you. Now, the 12 and 12 Pro are similar in terms of gaming performance. Even though one has four gigs with the 12, and the 12 Pro has six gigabytes, you're getting about the same gameplay performance, and it's also the same battery drain as well. So I think when you look at the iPhone line, there is something for everyone in terms of size. If you're a gamer and you want to spend a lot of time uh, mobile gaming, the Pro Max is where you want to go. The battery life is there for you on a longer period of time. The uh, screen real estate is much larger for you. And you've got slightly better speakers, at least in my opinion. What I want to know from you guys is which device do you have? within the iPhone 12 line? And what do you think about them, especially when you're gaming, right? Let me know your thoughts, leave them down below. Now guys, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.